Have you ever taken a moment to go back in your life five, 10, 15 years ago and think about how what once was a dream has now become a reality? Hi, I'm Michael, author of Success in 50 Steps and the founder of bestbookbits.com, the home of the world's largest free books on website in video written audio format. And today I'm here to talk about your dreams. Yes, your dreams, let's go. Take a moment to look around you, where you live, what you do, whom you live with, and how you spend your days and think about how much your time has changed over the years. This should give you the confidence knowing that you do have the power to create change, to make your thoughts a reality, create your dreams and make your aspirations come true, whatever they may be. Is it possible if you were to fast forward your life right now, 10 years into the future and see yourself living your dream lifestyle? Is that possible? Of course it is. If you can go back 10 years, you can definitely go forward. Steve Jobs said it best when he said, we can only look back connecting the dots, but it takes a very, very intellectual person to look forward 5, 10, 15, 20 years and connect the future dots. So if you can connect the past dots, you can definitely connect the future dots. Can you picture yourself 10 years from now, poolside, on a vacation, thinking about all your hard work, all the action that you've done to get to that point of dream lifestyle? Think about it, 10 years from now, poolside. The worst thing you could do is wake up 10 years from now with regrets. Regrets on not taking enough action, not having the courage to pursue your dreams, not thinking big enough. Just like we all have regrets on our past selves, don't let your future self have regrets about your inactivity today and over the years. Funny enough, the biggest regrets my coaching clients tell me is not that, that they didn't hit their goal, nor did they fail. The actually opposite is true. They hit their goal, but the reason that they regret is because they thought small. They didn't dream big enough they hit small goals. They were thinking on a small scale. And what happened? They achieved on a small scale. You know what happened then? They didn't get the fulfillment they were after. So you need to dream bigger. The truth is, most dreams actually do come true. You know why? It's because we think too small. And when we think too small, we act too small, and we hit very, very small. Is that really exciting? Does that really move the needle for you? Hitting small goals? Dreaming small, acting small, staying small. The problem is most people think small, hit small, and then they stop aiming at all. They get to a place of mediocre. Client after client, coach after coach has told me the same thing. It's not defeat or failure that is keeping people from real fulfillment. It's hitting small goals, acting small, staying small, and keeping a low profile. That is the cause of failure. It's actually being small. Increase the size of your dreams. Think bigger and dream bigger. You don't lack the capacity, only lacking the imagination. As Grant Cardone says, 10x your dreams. That's right, 10x your dreams. Stop thinking small, start thinking big. Kick your subconscious mind into gear by thinking huge, outlandish thoughts, things that take you out of your comfort zone. Think in large timescales, decades, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. No matter what it is, you can do it if the time frames are long enough. So start thinking bigger. Stop thinking about today, next week, next month, next year. Start thinking five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. Think bigger, expand your subconscious mind. As Norman Vincent Peale says, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you'll land them on the stars. Give life to your dreams by dreaming during the day with your eyes open so you can work with your hands and work with your mind. Stop dreaming at night, start dreaming during the day and do something about it every single day. Move the needle forward. Little fun fact, you have over 50 to 70,000 thoughts a day, every single day. My question to you, yes you, is what is the percentage of those thoughts on your dreams, goals and aspirations? What is that percentage? What are you thinking about all day long? Start daydreaming on your dreams. You're going to be thinking anyway. Why not think about your dreams? Gandhi was spot on when he said, dreams at first seem impossible, then seem improbable. And finally, when we commit to ourselves, become inevitable. He was absolutely spot on. First, they seem impossible, then improbable, and sh through the sheer act of time, action, multiply, compounding, they do seem inevitable. So don't give up, start today, 
think big. I know what you're thinking, you're saying, Michael, I've heard this all before, woo, 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 personal development. But let me tell you something, I'm talking about your dreams. Yes, deep inside you, you have a dream. You need the courage for your dreams to take reality. That's right, do you have the courage to make your dreams a reality? Give more energy to your dreams than you do your fears. You're either putting more energy into fear or you're putting more energy into dreams. Which one are you? Is it gonna be dreams or is it gonna be fear? Left, right, red pill, blue pill. Have the courage to dream big. Give your dreams a chance, okay? Let's start giving more energy to our dreams than we do our fears. So let's decrease our fear, let's increase our dreams. Decrease the fear, increase the dream. And finally, one of the last things, have the courage to tell others about your dream. Have the courage to talk to others about your dreams. Don't keep it in your head. That's the other secret, okay? A lot of people walk around every single day thinking, daydreaming, not telling another soul, not committing their dreams to paper as well, keeping it all inside their head. You need to tell other people about your dreams. Look, use the analogy of the seed and the plant, okay? So with a seed, you normally plant it in a pot plant, just like this one over here, but instead of planting seeds in a pot plant, we want to plant our dreams into our fertile mind, our subconscious mind. Just like the germination process requires soil, sunlight, water, and time so do our dreams. Your dreams require nourishment in the form of self-belief. Self-belief is the number one nourishment for your dreams to come true. Do you believe in yourself? Next, after you have self-belief, you need daily momentum through action. Small actions repeated daily, create that momentum, create that habit, create that neural link in your brain that you are doing something towards entertainment. Now remember, dream big and have the courage to pursue your dreams. Act out your dreams daily. If you can dream it, you can do it. Simple as that. If it can be thought about, it can come about, okay? Thoughts become things. Now, another little tip to get your dreams from your head into reality, very, very simple. Get it on paper, get it on a journal, get your phone out, get the notepad section. I don't care how you do it. Dictate it into your phone. Get them out of your head onto paper. Onto paper, on your phone, in a journal, doesn't matter. Just get them out of your head. That is step number one. If you get your dreams out of your head, you've got a 50% chance for them coming true. 50% is just getting them out of your head so you can visually analyze them. Now, the other thing, you need to talk to someone professionally about your dreams. Yes, you can talk to your friends, your family, even your loved one, but you actually need a coach. You need a partner in your life to talk about your dreams, goals, and aspirations. No use doing it all by yourself. And last, your dreams don't have an end date, okay? Your dreams do not have an end date. Think about it. The only end date is when you end it. Now, if you're serious about your dreams, your goals, I've actually got a challenge for you. Now, if you don't know right now, I've just launched my new coaching program called The Archery Method. I'm actually looking for five people to work with me personally, privately for 28 days. 28 days, we're gonna pull back your life, just like an archer pulls back a bow and an arrow. I'll be that archer. I'm gonna pull back your life for 28 days. So when we release after 28 days, you're gonna go far, fast, and further. Okay. Stop doing life all by yourself. The number one reason why people hit a plateau and they stay there, not only is because of small success, but they actually are trying to do life all by themselves. So stop doing it. You don't build a family by yourself. You don't build a big business by yourself. Nothing is built by itself. Look at all the products you have around the world. Nothing was built by itself. There's no such thing as solopreneur. Stop doing life all by yourself. Get me, I challenge you, 28 days, partner with me. Click the link below, check it out now, apply. I wasted years trying to do it all by myself. After reading hundreds of books, being coached by the greatest experts in the world, I uncovered this secret, and the secret was you need to partner with someone. You can't do it all by yourself. Stop wasting time, stop wasting money, make the best investment you can make, invest in yourself, 28 days. If I can't catapult your life further, faster, then money back guaranteed with a little bit more. Challenge you, five people, five people this month. Come on, do it. What do you got to lose? Your old story, your old belief.